Peace and welcome back to original content. It is I O G B Crack Baby. It's that shh. They fiend fuck. So today I want to talk about. Well, let me let me give you some background. A lot of changes is you know happening in my life right now. I feel like I'm on a spiritual journey. I haven't eaten anything. Eating it. I haven't eaten any salad foods in um, about five days. If you ever went on a fast and you sustained from food, you know it's like an overload of your mind just be, you know, like it's hard to explain, you know, but your awareness is at, its, is at an all-time high. Everything started clicking and making sense. But, you know, I recently went through something with a person that meant a lot more than um, I think that person realized they meant. You know what I'm saying? But it, it got me to thinking about all the things that I I do. Because we always look at other people. We never want to look at ourselves, right? So I'm just, I'm really, right now, I'm just looking at my, my situations, things that I that I do, I engage in, and I'm hoping someone out there benefit from me being real. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's three particular situations I want to talk about. I might do sections. You know, this be part one. So I'm gonna go from the first to the last. So this situation I'm starting with, this, this situation goes back to um, when I was 15, me and this person. And I'm sure she's watching. So I won't call names, and it, it's not even like that, you know what I'm saying? It's just trying to understand the things that we do. With this particular person, this person was definitely my first love. No doubt about it. And I was her first love. And I was her first sexual experience. Right? I went to prison. When I went to prison, she rolled with me for like three years or more. until I pushed her away. You know what I'm saying? When I pushed her away, you know, she went out, she met somebody, she got pregnant and, you know, all that. But when I came home, after I'd been home for maybe a year or so, we, we hooked up and by hook up, I mean we hooked back up. But something with me, even though I pushed her away and I love her, I really do. The fact that I was incarcerated and she got pregnant, even though I pushed her away. I was pushing her away, hoping she'll still wait for me. I know that sounds crazy, right? It was like a test to see if, if, if she would stay real. But when I pushed her away, next time I seen her, you know, she got a, a budge in her belly. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? And that kind of killed any chance of us ever being together. And I told her all of this. But for some reason, for 20 some years now, when she's happy, when she meets someone that cares about her, she calls me. And we do this little dance thing that we do. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I ain't rocking with you. No, yo, we said we done with that. But we always end up in the bed. We always end up sabotaging whatever relationship she's in. 
and I feel a way about it. I don't know, maybe I'm getting older, but I definitely feel a way about it. But I'm trying to understand it so I can get through it. Like, what make a person do this? I mean, this is a beautiful female. She's beautiful. She can have any man she want. Why every time something is going good in your life, you call me and we mess it up. You know what I'm saying? You somewhere with me when you supposed to be at home. Your husband blowing you up. I mean, listen, me and this young lady went through two husbands. Two husbands. One put her in a nice house. He really loved her. I don't know why she don't let me go. Clearly, I'm not good for her, and I would never be anything more than what I have been. Any chance of us being together is, that's dead now. I don't even look at her that way, and I love her. You know what I'm saying? I, my love for her is real. That's why I can say that. I can never be with her in that way again. I just don't know why it's so hard for her to let go. Can we talk about this? Because I know somebody out there can relate. Somebody out there is in a similar situation. Is it infatuation? It is, is it the fear of... I don't know. What, what is it? What make a person mess up every good thing that happens to them? And what made people chase what's no good for them? I get back with y'all on part two. Whole nother situation. But y'all drop y'all comments because I need some help today. And maybe we can figure this thing out together. Peace.